I don't know of anything more tragic than a young girl just putting herself at the mercy of a handsome appearance, and I hope that Mr. O'Connor is not too good looking. As a matter of fact, he isn't. His face is covered with freckles. He's got a very large nose. He's not right down homely. No, I wouldn't say right down homely. Medium homely, I'd say. Well, if a girl had any sense, she'd look for character in a man anyhow. That's what I've always said, Mother. You've always said it. You've always said it. How could you've always said it? You never even thought about it. Oh. That was a scene from The Glass Menagerie, and here with us now, the co-star of the Broadway play, Zachary Quinto. It was actually, Zachary, one of the few humorous scenes yeah. <laughs> in The Glass Menagerie. But this is Valentine's Day, and we're all trying to be uh, cheerful. But congratulations, I saw the play. Your performance was fantastic. Thank you so much. Was it fun to be back on Broadway? Uh, it was my, yeah, it was my first time on Broadway, so that was a particularly... But you started uh, out in theater. I right? did, yeah. Theater is, is nothing new to me, but, uh, but, but being on Broadway was such a classic American play and uh, such a legend such as Cherry Jones and uh, with an incredible director, John Tiffany, and an amazing company. It's been, uh, it's been a very, very powerful experience for me. I'm, I'm sorry to see it come to an end in about a week. And Sharon Jones, who we saw in that clip there, she plays your mom. Right. She is amazing. Yeah. So what's it been like to, to work and have this, this is a rapid pace, you know, for people that are familiar with theater. Sure. You know, how much it, it drains you, especially since this is not the most uplifting yeah. of plays. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's something uh, about the, the ritual of it uh, eight times a week and um, the consistency of that. And it, it does require a certain kind of stamina, mm -hmm. um, very different from film and television where you're working long 15, 16 hour days um, you know you have your days to yourself so you can really structure if you if you're good at it you can really structure a way to support the work you have to do at night so you stay disciplined then I try I try okay. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm better than others <laughs> Tom is such a, um, a kind of not over the top role but he's a big figure in the play and emotional and expresses his emotions and then of course Spock is the antithesis that you're playing sure. in the Star Trek movies two very different roles I was sort of surprised to, to go from seeing you in Spock my kids are loving those movies oh, nice. and then seeing you play such a different role on yeah, in that's this. the goal for me. I mean, as much as I can cultivate a sense of diversity and expansion in the kind of work that I do, the happier I am, the more fulfilled I am creatively. So for me, it was important to, uh, to be able to play a role, uh, a character that embraces the depth and the, um, the, the expanse of that emotion, um, as, as Tom does. And you know, Tom is really the, 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 the biggest substitution for Tennessee, uh, the, the clearest distillation of Tennessee, and this play is the most um, autobiographical play that he wrote. So for me to really feel connected to such an uh, important figure in, in American theater history, it's, uh, it's been a really wonderful experience for that. Zachary, two things, one on the film front, one on TV front. Uh, you have a new film coming out, Agent 47, yeah. that I want you to talk about. But just real quickly, do you think that you'll return to American Horror Story? I don't know. I get that question a lot these days, actually. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know anything about what their plans are for the next season. Uh, right. I haven't connected with Ryan in a while. and uh, The Asylum yeah, episode, you're really bad. Yeah. Bad yeah, man. Evil guy. Yeah. Evil guy. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure on that front. I start shooting this movie. Uh, I close the play next Sunday, February 23rd. So everybody has a week to come check it out, basically. Uh, and then I leave the next day, and I'll be, uh, I'll be shooting in, in Berlin for the next few months. It's amazing. Yeah. And you've had such a, a, such a great career, and I know you, you let uh, a little bit of your personal life more into the equation uh, by coming out, and your career has not skipped a beat. And I think for a lot of people, they can look at you as truly an inspirational force and Thanks. someone to look up to, especially for young actors who are coming up that don't want to build on inverted cards. Build on a strong foundation. That's a nice way to put it. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that uh, authenticity is is really the only path that adds up to anything in the end. And 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 if if the if the pursuit is integrity, um, then then the only way to achieve that, I think, is to be uh, fully integrated in your life. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, for me, that was the choice that I made, but everybody has to make their own choice. Very briefly, how much fun are you having playing Spock? 
I love playing Spock. I love it. It's been a great, uh, a, a great, great addition movies. to my life. Thank you. They are Thank just great. Zachary Quinto, thanks very much for coming in. Get Thank more you. information on The Glass Menagerie at theglassmenageriebroadway.com. Zachary, great to have you. Pleasure to be here. Thanks set. for having me. And before we go, Harold has a bit of what passes oh, yeah. for breaking news. Harold, really? <laughs> so let really? me be clear. This, this, I'm not, my, my wife is watching. We are so excited. The swimsuit issue, 50th anniversary issue. My wife is in the bathing suit business. Her bathing suit is being worn by the young lady in the middle who I'm not looking at very closely. Uh, <laughs> Basta but Surf is the name of like our company. This is more like a dental floss Harold. Sweetheart. Where's the, no top. Why didn't your wife send the top? Is and where's really, the rest of the stuff that goes yeah, over the butt? I don't know. Is there really a, a bathing suit there, Harold? The, I, look, I'm, afraid I'm not looking closely. Not I'm told that. there is. Yeah. Basta, yeah. congratulations, sweetheart. I mean, I my, won't be taking the cover on my straw has more, has more <laughs> coverage to it. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, enough.